everybody doing today? In this video, I am going to show you six different coffee grinders. I'm going to first name off each one and its price, starting from right to left, and then I'll show you individually how each one works. And then at the end, I'll tell you which one that I prefer. And then it might help you get a good idea of what you want to get as far as coffee grinding in your household. Uh, it starts all the way on the right. It's a Cuisine Art. That's a very cheap model. It's right at $50. And one of the reasons why it's so cheap is because everything that grinds is made of plastic. Every other one in this video has metal. So the right one starts at $50. The next one is the OXO Brew. That one's very popular, especially on Amazon. They're actually out of it right now. That one retails for $99. And that's a, a very nice machine. I've, I've gotten a lot of those and sold a lot of those. Now the next one in the middle is a Compresso. That one comes in various models. This particular one is a really high end. The whole body is really thick stainless steel. So this one retails at $150, but they have it a little bit cheaper. If you don't like the stainless steel, it's made out of a plastic body. That's about $110 or so. Now the next one over, that one's kind of auger driven, which is completely different than the rest. Um, that one is, that one's pretty expensive. It's around 180 on Amazon. This one was hard to find. It's kind of a weird name. I'll, I'll put a picture in the, in the video as I edit to show you what exactly this one is. Then we have one that's completely different. This one you do by hand, by crank. This one's actually very expensive. It's about 200 bucks on eBay and Amazon. And you just put the beans in and spin the crank and then of course it grinds it into that little drawer. So I'll show you that one too. It's, it's really quite different. I haven't, I haven't tried most of these. Um, but yeah, we'll find out together how well they do. And then the last one on the left, that one's extremely popular. I've gotten quite a few of those on my pallets. And that one retails for $249. And that one's just really good quality, nice high-end stainless steel. The grinders are really thick metal, so it's not going to fall apart. This one on the left is totally made to last, but of course you're paying $250 for it. Just a little bit of backstory of how I get these. I uh, buy Amazon return pallets or other pallets, and I get a ton of coffee grinders. So I figure why not do a video about them, because I have to test them anyways. And I have such a wide variety that I think this could be a pretty good video. If you happen to like uh, unbox things of Amazon returns, Target returns, stuff like that, check out the rest of my videos. There's quite a few good videos, and you actually see me unbox these on the pallets as I get them. So it's pretty cool. All right, before we get started, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button, subscribe. We're going to get into each one of these now. I'm going to actually put beans in them and show you them working. And what I thought I should start by doing, that way you get the best idea of how each setting works, is I'm going to start it as a coarse setting. And then we'll drop it in here and I'll show you real quick how it looks. And then rather than use more beans because it's coarse and a little bit thicker, I'm just going to dump it back into here and then we'll put it all the way to the fine setting. And we'll see how well it, how fine it actually gets it. I was going to show you real quick what I meant. So this is all plastic. There's not metal in there at all except for these screws. Even down inside of here, it's all plastic. Yeah, you can't really see it, but take my word for it. So eventually, this cheap model, that plastic's going to wear out and it's just not going to do a very good job grinding. Another thing most of these have are timers. This one you can set it up to 18 seconds and it'll basically just run for that 18 seconds and then automatically stop. So let's go ahead and get into this one. I'll drop in a little bit of coffee beans, just using some cheap Walmart brand that I found. Just gonna fill it up a little bit. That way I have enough, enough for all these tests. Right now this is empty. All right, this one we're just gonna stick with the coarse setting because like I said, all these are Amazon returns and most of them are gonna work perfectly fine. 
Uh, but this one, for whatever reason, I can't get past this setting here. It won't let me turn it. That's probably why it was returned. But I know I've tested it for power before and it did work. So we're going to do it all the way over the course setting. And then we'll see how well it grinds it. So let's just do 12 seconds. And you hit start and it should run for 12 seconds and shut off. Let it go until it gets done. Um, you gotta switch it over to off. Not sure why that didn't stop. I put it on 12. That's kind of odd. Let's see how that did. Alright, so as you can see, that was not very coarse. So this was a little bit of a defective unit, so I apologize for that. But um, yeah, something's off with the alignment on this. Let's see if I can figure it out real quick. All right, so I'm not sure exactly what's wrong with this one. That's more closer to fine than coarse. So I apologize for that. The rest of them I know for sure work. Uh, this could just be that bad of a unit. The fact that it screws in and it'll only go right here I mean, that's kind of a major problem because there's no other way to put this on other than screwing it in. So that could be a defect straight from the manufacturer, which is just kind of crazy. It doesn't matter where I start it. It's only going to thread itself in to there. So really quite weird. So that's just going to be a quick demo with this one. I promise the rest of them work fine. <laughs> we'll do a better demo out of those then this unfortunate one. All right, next up, we're gonna do the OXO Brew. This one's very popular. I've gotten and sold a bunch of these and they sell pretty good. And like I said, they're sold out on Amazon. So this one also has, it's supposed to be a timer. That timer on that one didn't even work. So we'll see if this one works. For anywhere from zero to 30 seconds. So this one's much more well-made. It's a lot of it. It's got a much ni nicer mechanism to get to it. It's easier to clean. So this just sits on here and then you twist this and it locks it in place. And then this one is a stainless steel bin, nice metal, and then a nice little clear cap that slides over it. And as you can see, everything in here is metal, stainless steel. So it's going to last a very, very long time, obviously, compared to plastic. So it's a, a nice unit, like I said, very popular, very easy to use. And let's uh, go ahead and test this one out. All right, this one and the rest of them. We're gonna start at coarse and then move on to fine because I know for sure these all work fine. Plus they're better quality and that one just, I'm surprised at that one. But anyways, let's go ahead and do 15 seconds and it should automatically turn itself off. So I got some beans in there, just gonna hit the power button and it should start going. There we go, perfect. Stop right at 15 seconds. That little bit of beans I put in there is actually done right around five seconds. So as you can see, this one is much more coarse. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm gonna go and dump this in just like this. I'm gonna switch it all the way to fine. It should be a very fine powder. change it to 10 seconds since we know we don't need 15. So I'm going to twist this all the way over to 1 and then this should be 
like powder. There we go, right at 10 seconds, just like it's supposed to. And there you have it. Nice powdered coffee. <laughs> so yeah, this one, this one I've had a lot of luck with. I've probably gotten and sold at least 10 of these. And I'd say the broken rate is probably about 80% good. So meaning maybe two out of 10 of them are bad. So it's a good, well-made machine. It's gonna last quite a while and 99 bucks is not too bad of a price. All right, next up we have the Compresso. Once again, this is one of their higher end models because this is a big chunk of stainless steel. Um, you can get, which I have right here, let me show you really quick. This is the same exact model, just not as nice. This is a plastic body. The, the, the grinding gears and all that are exactly the same, but you're really on this one just paying for like kind of a chrome knob and then a stainless steel look. It's nice and heavy duty. Probably weighs three times what this one weighs. So once again, this one's very popular. I've sold a bunch of these as well, and I'd say probably nine out of 10 of them work flawlessly. The problem with my Amazon returns is most of the time People don't return everything and it's missing items. Let's go ahead and try this one out. Once again, we'll start over in course. Okay. And then this one has a timer that as soon as you turn it on, it's gonna start counting down. So let's go ahead and go, we'll do the full 10 seconds. Remember this is the furthest over course that it could be. And we'll put it over to 10 seconds. All right, well, it's done, and I was also wrong about that. It's not 10 seconds. It's probably five-second increments, so... It's probably about 50 seconds. But regardless, as you can see, it works really good. Got every single piece of that coffee bean. As you see, not quite as coarse as the second one on, on the most coarse mode, but still pretty, pretty nice and chunky pieces. All right. I know this isn't the way to do it, but I'm just doing it for this video's sake. So it's gonna do the same result. So I'm gonna dump this in, and then we're gonna do it on the fine, extra fine mode. Okay, twist this all the way over to extra fine. And we'll do it. I'm gonna kinda of help it just because obviously it's not made to do it like this. Fine. All right, it's done. And this one, remember I said powder on the other one? You can tell right off the bat, this is extra fine compared to the other one. That is much, much more powdery. So yeah, this, this one does a better job overall if you like it extra fine. So yeah, that, that one did a really good job. Smell that. All right, so that is the Compresso. So far out of the three, regardless of price, this one I think works the best. Um, this is the best quality out of the three as far as defectiveness on the return rate that I get them. And you know, they sell really good. People are very happy with that one. All right, this one is very different. I've never had this one before. Um, at first, I didn't even realize it was a coffee grinder, but um, yeah, so this one's pretty nice. So it's auger driven. 
you got one through eight on the coarseness. One on this model would be like extra fine. And this one's got a pretty large tray for it to all fall into. So this one I have not tested at all with beans. Um, this one, I don't really like how this goes on there. It just literally sits on there. It doesn't screw in or anything. So it doesn't stay on there very well. As you can see, it kind of flops around. Which I guess if you're careful, it's not a big deal at all. But um, yeah, I'm surprised they don't at least make it screw on there. Let's go ahead and start this one up. Let's see how this guy does. I'm gonna do it on eight, which is gonna be the, I believe the most coarse. Yeah, coarse. And then once again, we'll do the same thing and uh, see how fine it gets. So this one just has a switch in the back. Here we go. Very quick. Let's go ahead and see how this looks. Oh, this is very coarse compared to the other ones. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, this is probably the, the most coarse out of the ones so far. Let's see how fine we can get this, which I bet you is very fine since it's an auger. So we're going to put it all the way to one, which you can actually feel it as you're turning it getting really tight. All right, dump this in. Whoops. And once again, yes, I know, I should be putting full beans in there. But regardless, it's going to push it through and uh, give you the same exact results. All right, let's see how fine this one gets compared to the compressor so far. The Capresso wins in extra fineness, and this one is the best as far as coarseness so far. Let's start this guy up. All right, once again, super quick, super easy. They're all easy, but this one's really easy. Wow, that's, that's really fine as well. Hopefully these are popping up for you. I'd say this is very fine. I think the Capresso was a tiny bit finer, a little bit more powdery. But this one did a very good job. Super easy to use. Not sure on the looks of it though, I don't know. A lot of people that buy these want to have a good looking machine because they typically keep it sitting on their countertop. This to me just almost looks like a meat grinder if that wasn't attached. <laughs> so that's that one. This one's right about 200 bucks. I'll, I'll put something in the uh, video as I edit. But I think I could only find this one on eBay and it was right around 200 So, But regardless, it works freaking great. And uh, yeah, it does, it does a great job. So this one I've never had, but it really surprised me. This one's almost 200 bucks on Amazon. I don't remember the exact price, 150 to 200 ish, but that wasn't this exact model. It was similar. This one's a little bit nicer than the one on on uh, eBay. So this one, is, as you can see, is hand cranked. Very easy to use. You open this, you put in your beans. And it's kind of weird because it drops into this drawer, <laughs> and then you have your grinds in there. So you can see this thing doesn't even look like it's ever been used, which is kind of sad that I'm going to use it, but I'm just going to do a quick test. That way you guys can see if you guys would want something like this. But um, very simple. You adjust the coarseness up here in this collar. All the way to the right is going to be like extra fine. All the way to the left is going to be coarse. So we'll start with the coarse, of course, of course. Drop in some beans. This one's gonna be interesting. I've never ever used a hand crank one, especially something that's this nice looking. It's all made out of steel inside, including the uh, grinders. 
This one's definitely good quality. I have it on course. Like I said, it's just gonna drop down on this white box. You'd think they would've painted this, you know, the uh, dark color as the wood. That way it wouldn't stain when the coffee gets in there, but that's okay. Porousness. And then I'll dump it out and then we'll see the fine. It just, it doesn't do anything right now. I can feel it spinning freely. So this one, you almost have to force the beans down in there. Once you get some in there, it does a really good job, but it doesn't last long. Okay, yeah, that does much better when you push it down in there. So as you see, this is very coarse. I think this one's probably the most coarse, even more coarse than this one, of course. Nice, big, thick pieces. Hopefully that's showing up on camera for you. I'm gonna dump this out and we'll switch it to fine. And we'll see how fine it is. So let's loosen this. Okay, go to have some fall down in there. And let's, let's see how fine this is. There we go, so very slow, which is fine. And this is very fine, very powdery. This one, this one feels about as powdery as the Capresso. So this one is probably the best on course, and then ties this one on fineness, because this is basically like powder. So very good job on this thing. Yeah, it works really good, it's cool looking. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in a manual crank one, there you have it, it does a very good job. Now on to the most expensive one that I have on this video. This one, a Virtuoso Plus model. This thing is very popular. I probably got it and sold five of these. Every single one has worked. And these sell as soon as I put them on eBay for about 189. They sell instantly, even used. So this thing is very popular, very high quality. You can just tell by the parts. This one looks barely used. As you can see, it's completely stainless steel. It's got a nice light. Push this, it starts and counts down. And, uh, you know, a pretty good size bin. And then the light is a cool little feature, not I don't think any of them had a light, did they? It's very simple to use. Just line with this, line with this. And then you pick your coarseness. All right, once again, we're gonna start very coarse. Of course, of course. And this one's $250 on Amazon. So by far, quite, yeah, $50, $250. Plastic, let's be honest, kind of garbage. Super high class. But let's see if the $250 grinds as good as the other ones. All right, we're gonna start at 40. This should be coarse. And uh, let's see how it does. We'll just do, let's do 15 seconds. That looks really good. Once again, I keep saying this, but this one looks very coarse. Nice and thick pieces. I think the hand crank one might have been a little bit thicker, but this is probably the second best on thickness. So that, that does a very good job, as you can see. The countdown timer is nice, the light is a nice feature. And let's just go ahead and dump this in and see how fine we can get this. $250, can I make it into super powder? Let's find out. I'm gonna twist this all the way over to zero. And we'll do 
just in case it needs longer for whatever reason, 20 seconds. Wow, through there, this looks like the powderiness of like uh, hot chocolate you'd buy at the store. That is, okay, yeah. This one by far takes the cake. <laughs> you can even, hopefully you're getting this. You can even push it down and have it squish itself if that makes sense. That's how powdery this is. Okay, you get what you pay for. I mean, this one is, Probably the first, the the best or the second best in coarseness, but as far as the fineness, this this takes the cake big time. That is extremely fine. Wow, which I guess you should expect because you're paying two hundred fifty dollars. But it's good to see that you're getting what you pay for in a machine like this. All right, well that is all six of them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up for me. Uh, subscribe. I'm going to do start doing a bunch of tests like this on videos. Um, if there's anything you want to see out of these individually or a different test with all six of these, please let me know and I can do, make that happen before I sell them. Um, all, well, five out of the six worked flawlessly. This one for 50 bucks, I think, you, I think it's, it's the same goes. You get what you pay for it. It's made out of plastic, it's not gonna last, and it's the only one of all these that I had issues with on setting it up. So I would not recommend that at all. All the other five are pretty good, all the way up to great. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you have any of these, if you have any questions about them, and uh, anything else you wanna see or me do about this. Or any, if you'd like to see another video like this, if I should change anything. Um, yeah, please let me know some feedback. That's very important. And if you're interested in all these, I'll throw the links down in the description right to Amazon. And uh, that helps me out a little bit on this channel. I'd appreciate that. So have yourselves an awesome day. Stay safe out there. And uh, talk to you all later. See ya.